Case title, Norkayam Tumogi Kahatol versus People of the Philippines, GR number 2595111, October 11, 2023. Doctrine, robbery with the use of force upon things, as penalized under Article 299 of the Revised Penal Code, RPC, requires proof that the accused unlawfully entered the property by breaking a wall, door, or window. Moreover, Possession of stolen items shortly after the commission of the crime raises a disputable presumption that the possessor is the perpetrator, provided that the accused fails to give a reasonable explanation for the possession. Uh, facts. Norkayam Tumog was convicted of robbery for unlawfully entering the home of Dr. Mariam Espinoza in Pagadian City and stealing personal belongings valued at 325,300 lenars. Dr. Espinoza testified that when she returned home, she discovered her house had been forcibly entered and multiple items were missing. Tumog, who worked for Dr. Espinoza, was found in possession of some of the stolen items. After being confronted by his aunt, Tumog admitted to the theft and returned some items to the victim. Tumog argued on appeal that there was no direct evidence linking him to the robbery, as no one witnessed him breaking into the house. Uh, he also claimed that he should be liable only for theft, not robbery, as the prosecution failed to prove that force was used to enter the house. The Court of Appeals CA affirmed the conviction, but reduced the penalty in light of the mitigating, the mitigating circumstance of voluntary surrender. Not sure issue. One, whether Tumog is guilty of robbery by using force upon things. Two, whether the civil indemnity awarded to victim is proper, given that some items were recovered. Held. The Supreme Court upheld Tumog's conviction for robbery under Article 299A-2 of the Revised Penal Code. The court ruled that the evidence sufficiently established the unlawful taking of property with intent to gain, and the prosecution proved that the house was forcibly entered by breaking the kitchen wall and removing the window pane. The court also emphasized that, that Tumog's failure to provide a reasonable explanation for the possession of stolen items shortly after the crime allowed for the presumption that he was the perpetrator. However, the court deleted the civil indemnity of 325000 awarded to the victim uh, as the stolen items had been recovered and returned to the complainant. Uh, there was no evidence presented of additional damages suffered by the victim that would justify the full amount of indemnity. Disposition. Wherefore, the petition is denied. The decision and resolution of the Court of Appeals are affirmed with modification. Tumog is found guilty of robbery and sentenced to an indeterminate penalty of three years of prison correctional as the minimum to six years and one day of prison mayor as the maximum. The civil indemnity of 325,000 is deleted.